We're going deeper into the darkest dungeon. Our sanity might be let loose on instant replay. Does that make sense? No. Our sanity being let loose? Our well, sanity instant being live. let loose. We're, we're going to just get so sane right now. I think our sanity was definitely happen. let loose already. Yeah. <laughs> it's gone. Gone loose and long far away. Nice. Um, uh, you can zoom this out room. and scroll out, I think, uh, to get more than oh, that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. The whole dungeon. Yeah. The so, whole dang thing. Um, well, Nick is going around. Oh, you surprised him. That means you get the first round. Nice. Whoop, 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 whoop. So uh, I started a blog last night, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. I was, you I, didn't tell me about this. No, I, that's because I figured I'd tell you tonight. <laughs> while we're talking, while we're doing... I, actually, I was going to tell you when we were recording earlier. I just completely forgot. My, my plague doctor's having us all sniff a little bit to feel good. Oh, nice. And uh, that'll sniffity, help. Sniffity, sniffity, sniffity. Heroic N1. Uh, oh, Heroic Endurance, probably. Uh, I'll tell you about the blog in a second, but we'll, we'll mention real quick. We got some new characters for our party. Uh, the, the Vestal and the and the, the Knight are sleeping oh, it up. Yeah, they're, I guess we did do that off camera. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. So we got the gesture and we got another Plague Doctor here. Um, hopefully uh, the two that are coming back through are going to be able to handle the, the stresses of the Darkest Dungeon. Yeah, we had but, to uh, put, put the others in into a, a bar and um, at a church. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you do with people who are... Stressed out, apparently. That was a hell of a metal tune, but they resisted it. Mm. Um, yeah, so I started a blog last night. Uh, I, it kind of the idea struck me randomly during the, mo- the middle of the day. I was like, I should, I should do, I should, well, I should struck. blog. Um, I don't know that I ever intend for anybody to necessarily read it, but you know, <laughs> it's fine if they do. It's, it's, it's you know, it's for me, right? Like, All right. I, so, uh, should we link to the blog in the comments? Certainly, or in the description well. or I don't something. Mind. Um, it's it's a blog that is strictly about writing. Uh, writing is kind of my my personal hobby. That's the thing that yeah. I do to make me all happy and stuff. So I'm, I'm kind of, the blog I call it Writing About Writing. Uh, and okay. It's, and I, it's just me talking about my, my experiences as a writer, specifically as a writer of someone who is a fan of, you know, epic fantasy and sci-fi, and that's what, I'm, that's what I want to figure out how to write. But um, all the challenges and stuff that I faced. And writing the first blog last night was actually pretty nice. Like, it felt like it was something that I, I would have never really thought of doing before. I never kept a journal in my life, never kept a diary. Um, <laughs> well, what inspired you to actually start blogging now, then? I have no idea. It was like just a... I mean, there had to be some kind of catalyst. There had to be something that made you do it. Maybe it's just that, you know, we're putting ourselves out on the web in a way that I've never done before. Yeah. And uh, it just kind of... I, I Maybe doing this, this Let's Play as a show has kind of opened up uh, the way I think about... Um, I don't know, socializing myself. Mm-hmm. And e- even then, though, it's kind of, it's still kind of a personal thing, potentially. Ooh. Like, I don't mind sharing with people. I, I'd love to see, you know, that I share some some of my struggles with writing, some of my, like, my proud moments in writing, that kind of yeah. thing. And it helps somebody. That'd be awesome. But, uh, you know, mostly it's so I can get my thoughts out. Um, because I find that maybe that's that's probably what it was. When I was, when I was thinking about I should do a blog, the thing that I thought of was I think a lot of things. But I, I, they often kind of run away from me. Before you can get them down or anything? Sure, yeah. yeah um, that makes sense to me. I think it's a nice way. Like it's, I, I kind of get to dissect my thoughts a little bit better because I'm all over the place. Uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a strange and crazy person. So uh, All of these things are true. Yeah, absolutely. Nick can definitely attest to that. Um, so I think it'll be interesting for me to kind of uh, write out my own thinking process because I've never really critically analyzed it before. Interesting, um, and that's that's kind of what I want to do. And not like to writing, school or anything, or do you mean just on your own? What do you mean by that? Well, like your your writing process is something that you didn't like go through in college, like not terribly much. I mean, I did we we did like you know like the, the writing classes I had were very specific, and most of them were applied. Huh. Like um, we did, I did writing for a podcast in one class. I did you know writing uh, interesting write ups for businesses kind of thing, but never did I do. Um, I mean, I did in high school. We did, you know, wrote some like creative short stories and stuff. But I never, took, I never took a creative writing class in my life. Um, so most of the writing I did was, you know, reports or reviews or analyses or honestly, probably mostly in school lab reports is the thing I probably wrote the most of. Lab reports and essays and histories. Um, and while I don't necessarily enjoy the subject of writing an essay. That's something that's, that's just, you know, purely factual. I love writing in general. I love structuring sentences out. And... Heart attack. Oh, if they go pat if they get a, what, 150 or 200, something like that, they'll die. They can, yeah, so he's, he's on he's the, the on the, up. yeah, he's up at 129 out of 200. So, uh. 
Ooh. Yeah. Oh god, this guy keeps missing. I need to do something about him. Is he? Uh, maybe rabies is affecting it. Could be. It's too bad though, because it's his best attack, but he keeps missing on it. I think so yeah, this... no, that's pretty sweet though. I had no idea you were doing a blog. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> I, I thought about telling you last time. I was like, nah, just. Wait I'll just for the it. show. <laughs> Which is something we always say to each other, you know. Yeah, Don't exactly. talk to me outside the show. But it, it's it definitely is a struggle when we when we have deep conversations outside of the show, and it's like well, that would have been good to talk about in yeah. the show. Yeah, it's um, true. It's true. Victory. But my, my goal is uh, for the blog to, to post something every day, whether it's a paragraph or last night I wrote a little bit more substantial of a thing. Um, and I, I just want to get something down every day so that that's kind of my parameters for myself, setting a goal for myself. Hmm. Um, and partly for me, it's to encourage me to, well, to, you know, it's about me thinking about my writing process and writing in general. Um, and maybe authors that I like too. I, I haven't necessarily figured out the full scope of what I'm going to write about in the blog, but... The idea is that it keeps me um, putting words to paper or keystrokes right. to a document as it is. Have you talked about your tattoo on the show before? No, I've not. Um, so this, the blog is to help me write books, that, which is something that I want to do as a pastime, but I've always struggled with actually staying to it. The other thing that I did to um, help myself get to writing, actually sit down and write, is I got a tattoo on my arm, and it's the first and only tattoo I've ever got. And I was, I've always been very unsure of whether or not I really wanted a tattoo. Like, I've always thought, man, a Triforce tattoo would be really cool, but everybody's done that, and it's, and it's still a permanent thing on your body. So I was trying to think, what's something that's meaningful to me? If I get a tattoo, I want it to have a level of meaning, and I want it to be personal, not, not a show for other people, but for something for me. So yeah, I went to... Uh, Tolkien, I looked up the Elvish language of Quenya, and I learned the <laughs> alphabet. Um, I learned the actual Elvish word for, uh, oh, well, the Elvish phrase for telling stories, or tell stories is, is the, in, in the imperative. Um, so on my arm, I've got uh, Nyara Quentar, which in, in Elvish letters, which means tell stories. All right. And it's a message to myself to Can I retreat stories. from this adventure because check out my dudes? You can see that white flag on the left, uh, top left. Yeah, abandoned quest. All right, I'm afraid I have to give up on this journey, <laughs> or I would lose my dudes. I don't know. I think some dudes are expendable. Um, yeah, but like I didn't want to lose them all. Sure. <laughs> um, I, will tell I do you like that doing this though. <laughs> it's quick, fun. It's risky, but it's fun. Uh, prone to stealing items. Quick draw plus four speed on first round. Uh, in town, will never drink, and will plus two speed if torch is above 75 hmm. which sounds high 75 <laughs> percent of torch or what does that mean uh so the torch is measured it in four segments um the anything that is in the four the full four segments is above 75 percent and it drains out down at a bar at a time so there's four bars um, sorry to explain about the torch being up there but like you've got four it's right. bars of torch, torch how did i unlock the blacksmith in the guild yeah, without having completed that adventure. Uh, it's going out. Like, whether you can fail or pass. It's going uh, out. Yeah, helps. it's going out. All right. Um, Make no mistake. Blacksmith's like, hey, I hear there's some adventures in that town. I should go check it out. <laughs> Our soldiers must be ready. Let's go ahead and unlock some stuff. Oh, but you can get some new dudes now from the carriage. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, the bellion. So good. Yeah? Yeah. And a couple, of, couple of these guys. Interesting that I have Reynald and... Reynold <laughs> as options. I mean, tanks are really good. Tank. So one of the things yeah, about this game it seems is like... you're going to recruit some people with the intent of either letting them die or dismissing them when you need to, um, because you're you're not going to want to invest in all of your characters. Yeah. You want to invest in a few that you think are doing really good. That's a problem for me emotionally. I know. I know. It, it, trust me, <laughs> the, the, the struggle is real. But um, I'm a big fan of the Hellion. They work really well with a tank in front as well, so you can have like the Hellion out and a and a Crusader. Um, there's a lot of uh, party formations that are really neat. We haven't got... So I actually really liked this new Plague Doctor better than my first. Okay. How do I get rid of my first? Uh, X out of the... I mean, so you, right now you could actually recruit all three of those heroes and... Oh, I have enough room for all of them. You should go ahead and drop them all in. You've got 11 slots in your party. Um, all the heroes. But when you do... Uh, just drag it in the middle somewhere. Oh. Weird. Um, when you a... do X out of that, you can right-click on the hero... Okay. Any hero that you don't want. Well, I mean, now that I can I know, keep I'm them all, I, I won't bother. Either. Yeah. And then at the top left. I see. Dismiss. Yep. Okay. 
All right, well, we'll retweak our party and figure out what we're going to do with them uh, between episodes, probably, and then we'll return for another dungeon crawl in Darkest Dungeon on Instant Replay Live. Tell stories. <laughs> really kick it. Kick Yo, it. plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf.